Now, Alicia, on Baroness Von Sketch, it's like you're, I imagine, some days making like five different movies because you're playing with genre mm -hmm. and you're, you know, this is an, this looks like a commercial. This is set in a women's spa. This is the apocalypse. Right. Uh, <laughs> you know, just a couple different things. So, how, how do you try to make that your own? Are you more in kind of service to the, the sketch well, ideas? Well, it was, I mean, my whole thing is for each sketch that comes off the page, I always, like, if we have the rehearsal at all, just going back to that, mm -hmm. we're not necessarily, like, we don't have time to block it out, but I do want to know the intention of each scene. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, what is the what is the comedic intent? Where, what, like, you know, because I think that if you don't have that, then you don't know where the jokes lie. Um, and then from, because as they're, as they're writers and, and improvisers a lot of times, and actors, they are not necessarily thinking of the filmic version of the of the piece, so it's my job to kind of take that intention and try to kind of make it a little bit more visual than it comes off the page, and and trying to trying to figure that out with them. And so yeah, with each with each sketch, we just kind of you know see where like there's a lot of stuff that just happens that are just like real real moments mm -hmm. in real time, and yeah, you can. I mean, it was a great show to do because you can play around with genre so much. And it was a great exercise in kind of being able to do, I've never done a sci-fi. I've never done, you yeah. know, never shot on Mars before, you know? <laughs> but this allows me, it was, I mean, it, for me, and it was my first show ever. And, and it was great because I got to do a bunch of things I'd never done before. And it gave me a base to take all those things that I learned and do them on other things. How much awareness when you guys are, are gals are mm -hmm. are creating the sketches and and thinking about production are you of the the social media dimension because it seems like the show has gotten second third fourth life now and mm -hmm. we've all seen the videos on Facebook and what have you and the way people watch stuff online is different the appetite is different you mm -hmm. almost have to get to the, the the joke or the core quicker yeah are you is that a consideration or is that just not, I mean, the the social aspect of it had a life of its own once mm. it came out. Like I, I think at the time we weren't thinking that that was even they're going to be their marketing approach. But mm. because I had come from commercials, uh. you know, I work in thirty second format. So for me, it was always you know, the the quicker the better. And mm. a joke, you know, you let it land too long and it's not funny anymore. And so the challenge for me was always because the ending on improv banter was always trying to kind of make it a concise, you know, piece. And you want to get out, like it's all about comic timing. You want to get out at the right time. And mm -hmm. some some pieces, you know, we were calling them blackouts, where they're just like short little, like 10, 15, 20 second little things that can exist by themselves. You add an extra five seconds to that, and it doesn't work anymore. You know, you need to get in and out. 